1번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 구입할 물고기 종류를 고르세요. Good morning. What can I do for you? I want to buy some tropical fish. Have you ever kept fish? Yes, I already have some in my fish tank. All right. Do you have anything special in mind? We have various kinds and shapes of fish. How about these oval ones? Oh, they're pretty, but I prefer triangular ones. They look unique to me. Then what about these triangular ones with stripes? Wow, they look exotic, and their mouths are different. You're right. Pointed mouths and round mouths. Which do you like better? I like the ones with the round mouths. I'll take them. 2번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 심경으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르세요. Kathy, where were you? Oh, Brian, were you looking for me? I was practicing my new project presentation in the seminar room. Were you? But you have only five minutes left. I know. It's my first time to give a presentation. I'm shaking now. I'm sure you'll do it well. Have you rehearsed it in the auditorium? No. People were arranging tables inside. All right. Where's your USB? I'll help you connect it to the computer. Thanks. Oh, I can't find it. I think I left it in the seminar room. Really? Mr. Jackson has just finished. Now it's your turn. Do you hear the clapping? Oh, no. What should I do? 3번. 다음을 듣고 무엇에 관한 설명인지 고르세요. This is an automatic, computerized machine you can use to save time. If you need official documents, you can use this. Through this, you can get your documents fast and easily without visiting offices. This is installed at places like libraries, big supermarkets, or citizen service centers. To use this, you need to have your resident ID card or verify your fingerprint. By touching the screen or pressing buttons, you can select the document you want and get your printouts quickly. 4번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 여자를 위해 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르세요. Kate, I didn't expect to see you here. I thought you lived near the beach. Yeah, I just moved over here last Sunday. That's wonderful. Um, where are you going? I'm going to the supermarket to buy something for dinner. By the way, Tom, will you do me a favor? Sure. What is it? The fence around my house is broken. Could you come over and help me fix it? Anytime. When are you planning to fix it? Well, are you free tomorrow afternoon? Yes, I'll come around 3 p.m. Thank you so much. You're so kind. 5번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 지불할 총 금액을 고르세요. Hello. Thank you for calling Mario's Pizza. Can I take your order? Yes. I'd like one large pepperoni pizza with mushrooms. How much is it? It's $20. Would you like anything else? Oh, could I get extra cheese on that pizza? All right, but there will be an additional charge of $2. That's fine. And would you care for any beverage with your order? I'd like a large bottle of Coke. It's $3, but if you have a free drink coupon, it's free. That's great. I have a free coupon. Can I use it? Sure. Then you pay only for the pizza and the extra cheese. Can I have your address? Yeah, it's 102 Evergreen Terrace. 6번. 다음을 듣고 여자가 하는 말의 목적으로 
가장 적절한 것을 고르세요. If you are looking for a car, you can buy either a used or new one. If you want to buy a used car, I can give you some tips to keep in mind for the best deal. First of all, be sure to shop around for the best used car. Your friends might be able to tell you which places have good reputations. Next, search the prices of the cars on the internet in advance. Finally, if you already own a car, you can trade it in to get a discount. 7번. 대화를 듣고 남자가 여자에게 부탁한 일을 고르세요. Hello? Susan? Oh, I'm so glad I got you on the phone. This is Mark. Hi, Mark. When did you get back from New York? I'm still in New York. Why are you still there? You were supposed to be back yesterday. Yeah, but... I have to stay here one more week, so I really need your help. Of course. What is it? Could you hand in my report for me? Professor Robert wants the printout by Tuesday. No problem. I'll do it just for you. Thanks a lot. I'll send you the report file by email. 8번 대화를 듣고 두 사람의 관계를 가장 잘 나타낸 것을 고르세요. So, how was your first day here? Everything was new but exciting. How long have you worked at this marine world? About six years. Wow, that's quite a long time. How many dolphins do you take care of? Three at the moment. Great. If I had the special skills for training dolphins, I could join the dolphin show with you. If you work hard, you'll be a good trainer. Thanks. Well, isn't it hard to train the dolphins? Yeah, it was at first. But don't worry, you'll get used to it soon. I've heard dolphins are smart. Is it true? Exactly. But you should be very careful. Sometimes they get sensitive. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. 9번. 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 대화하고 있는 장소로 가장 적절한 곳을 고르세요. I'm Linda from CBA Broadcasting. Congratulations. Thank you. Can I ask you a few questions? It won't take long. Sure, but I don't have enough time for a full interview. I see. You did an excellent job tonight. Weren't you nervous on the stage? Well, I was a little nervous at first. But when I saw my family in the audience, I got confidence. Great! How did you start playing the violin? My mother taught me. She was a violinist. Wow, you're lucky. How many hours do you practice a day? About four hours. Linda, I'm sorry, but I have to be back on the stage now. Oh, that's okay. People are waiting for you. Thanks for the interview. Congratulations again. Thank you. 10번. 대화를 듣고 여자가 할 일로 가장 적절한 것을 고르세요. Hello, could you give me some information? Certainly. What would you like to know? I'm going to the National Museum on Plaza Street and I want to know which bus to take. You can take bus number 65, but the bus stop is too far from here. Do I have any other choice then? Um... Oh, you can take the shuttle to the museum instead. Great. Do you know how often it runs? Sorry, I don't know. But if you call the Museum Information Center, they'll let you know. Good idea. I'll call right now. You're a big help. 11번 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 선택할 프로그램과 시작 시간이 바르게 짝지어진 것을 고르세요. 
Wow, Jenny, wasn't it exciting? Absolutely, the tornado survival was so real. What do you want to do now? I'm not sure. What about the wagon tour? No, that looks a little boring. Why don't we watch the flamingo show instead? It starts at two. But it's already two o'clock, and we haven't had lunch yet. Yeah, let's have some snacks before we try another program. Then we have two options after lunch. Which do you want? I'm not interested in the flamingo show. Then we have only one choice left. Let's go there after lunch. Hello, students. Welcome to our university's summer program. Today, I'm going to give some information about the computer lab use for you. First of all, you must have a student ID card to use the lab. Second, if you want to print documents, you need to buy a printing card at the student center. Third, You must not bring any food or drink into the lab. Finally, you're allowed to use your notebook computers in the lab. The lab is closed during lunchtime from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Please feel free to ask me if you have any questions. 13번 그림의 상황에 가장 적절한 대화를 고르세요. 1. Mom, I cut my finger peeling apples. Oh dear, let me put a bandage on it. 2. What would you like for dessert? I'd like an apple pie, please. 3. Mom, can you move this table a little? No problem. Where do you want me to put it? 4. Can I have some more cake? No, that's not a good idea. 5. Mom, dinner's ready? I'm starving. Wait a minute. It's almost done. 14번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르세요. All right. Here's the apartment I told you about. Hmm. I think it's a little dark in the living room. Well, I'll turn the light on for you. Do I need to keep the lights on during the day? Maybe, but it's spacious. The view is so nice. All I can see are the busy streets downtown. Anyway, is there any shopping center around here? Yeah, a big shopping mall is just one block away. That's not bad. How much is the rent? $600 a month. That's reasonable. I'll discuss it with my husband. Can you give me some time to think about it? 15번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르세요. David, don't you think you should cut down on calories? What do you mean? You've gained a lot of weight these days. You always eat high-calorie foods. Everybody eats burgers and hot dogs. Yeah, but they're really not good for you. I know, but eating healthy food isn't fun. Look, David, I'm your sister. I'm really worried about you. You never exercise. Well, if I get overweight, mmm... Don't think that way. We have to watch our health. Yeah, you're right. I think I'd rather change my eating habits. Then what should I do? 16번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르세요. Good morning, Mary. You must have been very busy yesterday. Why do you say that? 
I tried to reach you on your cell phone several times, but I couldn't. You did? I didn't know that. Sorry, but don't blame me. It was because of my cell phone. Your cell phone? Is there anything wrong with it? The battery was dead again. It's been running out too quickly. When did you buy it? A battery has its lifespan. Only a month ago. Then there must be something wrong with it. Why don't you visit a service center? But I'm not familiar with this area. Tom has just moved to a new department in his company. Today is his first day in the new office. So he says hello to a woman next to him. Her face seems very familiar to Tom, but he doesn't remember where he met her before. Tom introduces himself to her and tries to make small talk to break the ice. In the middle of the conversation, he recognizes that the new colleague was one of his close friends, Sally. They went to the same elementary school. Tom's very surprised and, at the same time, very happy to meet her again in such an unexpected way. In this situation, what would Tom most likely say to Sally?